My name is Shante Major, and I will be presenting on behalf of my research members, Sheena Abraham, Brianna McIntosh, Chelsea McMorris, and Gladys Vaughn. The goal of the present study was to determine if Francis Marion University faculty displayed risk factors for developing a voice disorder and if it was feasible to implement a voice disorders preventative program on campus. A voice disorder occurs when a person's voice quality, pitch, and or loudness differs from the person's expected age, gender, background, or location. Professional voice users such as teachers are at a higher risk for developing voice disorders. Although teachers have been extensively studied, university professors who are a subtype of teacher have not. Instituting a preventative voice care program is a common and essential means by which professional voice users such as teachers are taught to maintain good vocal health and longevity of their voice. However, due to paucity of data, it is unclear whether university faculty are at risk for voice disorders. Further, data on the feasibility of implementing a voice disorders program on a university campus are limited. We sought to determine if Francis Marion University faculty displayed risk factors for developing a voice disorder and if it was feasible to implement a voice disorders preventative program on campus. To achieve this goal, we created a Google survey with three main sections. One portion was adapted from a previous study by Kairaku, Petino, and Finkitos in 2018 that looked at professional voice use, the professor's general health, their environment, and lifestyle. Another section with questions taken from a standardized assessment called the Voice Handicap Index, or VHI-10 for short. A third section of the survey was dedicated to questions about the feasibility of starting a vocal hygiene program. We received 33 responses. As displayed in the tables, most of the professors at FMU in our study did not report at-risk factors associated with voice use while teaching. This suggests that the professors at FMU may not exhibit at-risk factors for voice disorders. Our findings on the feasibility of implementing a preventative voice program suggest that FMU professors are not interested in a vocal hygiene program at the university. Overall, the results of our research suggest that most of the FMU professors did not display risk factors for voice disorders and that they were not interested in a vocal hygiene program. Regarding feasibility of a vocal hygiene program, our participants may have been unwilling to participate due to their current workload and availability. To take our research further, the next steps would be to aim at broader sample size. Potentially, this could include statewide or nationwide university professors. Another avenue of expansion would be to investigate whether or not geographical conditions such as humidity and food cultures contribute as possible at-risk factors for voice disorders. Thank you for granting me an audience.